The book is about uh, how women have now come to be more than 57% of all college degree recipients in this country and uh, the fantastic rise of women in the educational realm, how that helps them in other realms such as the workforce. Um, and then the flip side of that question in terms of why have men not kept pace with women in terms of earning college degrees. Men's college completion rates have been pretty much stagnant for the last several decades. First of all, women have long done better uh, in school than boys. It's not a new thing. Um, and we've learned that um, what changed, really, is the opportunities for women to translate that really strong academic performance into high-powered careers, better pay, uh, and more power in our society. Boys are underestimating. Um, how much work it's going to take for them to, get, to achieve that goal that they, the great majority of boys say they want. It's also interesting that boys are far more likely still in this day and age to, to expect that they're going to be, be rich in this, in this society. So boys tend to have overinflated ideas of what, the, what their life is going to be like in the future and don't understand the efforts that they need to put in today that are directly related to those efforts. Part of the problem for many boys is that they think, they, they equate doing well in school as a sissy activity or fem, a feminine kind of activity. And so we don't think the solution is to try to treat all boys as needing certain kinds of education that's different from all girls, but rather really setting high expectations and telling students about the importance of doing well in school by providing them really information about what, how that links to the, today's job market. It's about effort and engagement in school. Girls spend more time on schoolwork. They spend more time studying. Part of the reason for this is that they report that they, their, their girls are more likely to say that they like their teachers, that they care about their grades, that good grades are important to them. So we want boys to, do, to have those same kinds of attitudes about the importance of school. And I think the schools generally are doing a good job of the, the teaching the two plus two is four, right? But the problem is that they're not really helping students understand exactly how education performance in high school links to the future. So I'm talking about really clear, I mean, perhaps it's more the role of guidance counselors and guidance offices, and parents as well. So students need to learn that, you know, if they aren't taking a particular set of courses in high school, and if they're not attaining a certain, a particular level of, of, of grades, they are not, their chances of actually completing college are much, much lower. Most of our students in this country say they plan to get a college degree. The problem isn't about expectations, the problem is about helping them understand exactly what they need to do to increase the chances that they're going to get a college degree. And if I can just say one more point about that is we have a lot of students enrolling in college in this country. The problem is they get to college and they really struggle and they often drop out because of poor po academic performance and that's why that practice and that rigor in high school is so important.